the meat market by Alex Tabarrok. About the author. Economics Alex Tabarrok, born on 1996, is an associate professor at George Mason University, where he earned his PSc in 1994. He also serves as the Barclay Z. Madden Chair in Economics at the Mercatus Center, a research institute at George Mason University focused on market-driven ideas. In addition, he is researcher director of the Independent Institute, an organization that studies social and economic issues. The author, co-author, and editor of several books including Modern Principles Microeconomics 2009, Tabarrok has published widely in the field of economics. Additionally, he blogs at the economics website marginalrevolution.com. The meat market was originally published in the Wall Street Journal in 2010. Background on organ donation and shortages of donor organs. Currently, most donor organs come from patients officially pronounced brain dead. Shortages of donors and the thousands of people who die each year waiting for transplant have led many in the medical community and the federal government to advocate a more aggressive pra practice. Donation after cardiac death DCD, rather than after brain death. Some question the ethics of such organ harvesting, particularly if done in the high pressure, fast paced environment of hospital intensive care units and emergency room. The fact remains, however, the more than 1 lakh people are now waiting for transplant surgeries. According to government statistics, this number is rising faster than the number of available donors. The overwhelming majority of these patients needs kidneys followed by livers and hearts. In the United States, the individual states intact their own donation laws. Many allow people to become prospective donors by consenting on their driver's license. According to Donish, Donate Life America as of 2010, 86.3 million Americans were enrolled in this state donor registries. Summary To solve the problem of the shortage of human organs, Singapore is play, paying 50,000 Singapore dollars to the donors of their organs. Iran is paying a citizen to donate, and Israel is making a system in which if someone wants to get organs from others, first he or she has to be ready to give his organs later. Millions of people are suffered from kidney disease. They have to wait for transplant. Only a few of them get a chance for transplant. And some of them die while waiting for it. To fight against the shortage of organs, American doctors remove tissues, especially corneas, from the dead patient without informing the patient families. And this practice is not illegal. So, cornea transplant has increased. To solve the problem of this shortage, some countries have used very new methods. When they have been closely and controversial, organs can be taken only when the donor is dead, but the line of dead and wish cannot be drawn without debate. It is a great paradox because while removing the organ from the donor, should be dead, but the organ should not be dead. 
After the number of brain dead donors decreased, more attention was paid to cardiac dead donors, but standards were debatable. The surgeon who transplanted the brain dead donor's heart in 1968 was threatened with persecution, but such transplant did not decrease. Because of the shortage of organs, people have accepted unsuitable organs, that is, organs from previous over 60 and from people having medical problems. Such organs are less successive than those taken from young and healthier donor. But people have accepted such risks because of the long waiting list and failing quality of transplants. Routine removal have been used for corneas but it cannot be used for vital organs such as kidneys, livers or lungs. Presumed content makes everyone an organ donor. If he or she has not signed a non-donor card, this system becomes effective if all the necessary things are easily available. UK, Wales, India favor presumed consent, but US supports it less. Now, 5 to 10 percent of the human organs are sold in the black market worldwide, and this will be sold voluntarily if donors are supposed to get proper care after donation. Iran has made a legal system to remove the shortages of organs. If patients cannot get kidneys from diseased or living donors, they will have to apply to dialysis and transplant patient association, DAPTA. It identifies the possible donors and the donors are medically examined by the physicians. The government pays donor $1,200 and provides healthcare facility for one year. In addition, kidney recipients also pay donor between $2,300 and $4,500. If recipients are poor, charitable organizations provide money to donors. Like in Iran, the problem of the shortage of kidneys can be solved in U.S. by paying living donors. For the U.S. government also, one-time transplant will be cheaper than the frequent dialysis. Singapore also has legalized the payment of 50,000 Singapore dollars to the, or to the organ donors as an incentive. The U.S. has remained behind in this case until now. But last year, Senator Erlen Scepter circulated a draft bill that will allow U.S. government to offer non-cash compensation to donors. Incentives help to collect more kidneys from living donors than from dead donors. On one hand, it is a great success because body can work perfectly well with one kidney if they are properly cured. On the other hand, it is an ugly failure because dead donors clearly are buried or burned if they are not used. Singapore introduced a non-monetary system for organ donation. Those who do not allow to donate their organ after their death will get least priority if, them, if they themselves need organs one day. It is called no give no take system. Many people find that paying money for organs is hateful, but they accept the ethical basis of no give no take system. This system has encouraged more people to sign on their organ donate organ donor cards and decrease the shortage of organs. Israel has used a different version of no give no take. 
if a person has signed his donor card, his position will go up in the list of transplant. For example, if his first degree relative has signed, he will get one point. And if his first degree relative has previously donated an organ, he will given 3.5 points. The shortage of organs is getting worse in the world as more people are dying. The pressure to find out a new way to save life is increasing. Comprehension Questions What according to Tabarrok is the great paradox of deceased donation? Why is this paradox significant? Tabarok ko bhanai ma Mare pachhi dine daan ko thulo virodavas Mare pachhi dine daan ko thulo virodavas pane ko ki ho The great paradox of disease donation Answer The great paradox is the taking organs from disease requires us to draw the line between life and death precisely where we cannot be sure of that answer because the line must lie where the donor is dead but the donor's organs are not this dilemma or paradox leads directly to many of the medical and ethical controversies surrounding organ donation question number 2 what positive developments in the last several decades have led to fewer potential brain dead donors than in past year? Bigat Thupre the Sakma Bhaika Kosta Sakaratma Bikas de Garda Atitma Vanda Mastiska Mithu Pachi Angadan Garnet Data Hal Gategasan Answer According to the writer Reduced crime and better automobile safety have led to fewer potential brain dead donors than in the past six past year. Question number three. Tabarok uses definition in paragraph seven. What does he define and how does this definition help him to achieve his essays propose? Tabarok Sato Anuchedma Parivasa ko Praya Gardasan Unikiko Parivasa Dinsan Rakasari Yo Parivasa Lai Unli Afno Divandako Udeshya Prapta Garna Sayog Garigasan Tabarok defines expanded criteria organs as organs that used to be considered that used to be considered unsuitable for transplant in the past. These organs include kidney from people over the age of 60 or from donors who had various medical problems. The transplantation of these expanded criteria organs is important to his main purpose. This use point to the shortage of healthier organs. Tabarok identifies one country that has eliminated shortages in transplant organs. Which country? Yuta Desle Pratyapan Garni Angaku Komi Nirmul Parigo Sabane Tabarok Le Pahijan Garekasan Yo Kundesu Yo Kam Kosari Fate Parigo Sab. Answer Iran has eliminated the shortage of transplant organs. In the Iranian system, a non-profit agency identifies potential donors for those who cannot find a related living donor. The Iranian government then pays donors 1,200 and provides one year of health insurance. Additionally, one organ recipients and charitable organizations also provide payments to donors. Journal Entry Tabarok writes, Many people find the idea of paying for organs repugnant, but they do accept the ethical foundation of no give, no take. Do this 
generalizations apply to you? Explain. Tabaro collection. Tere manis haru. Anga ka laghi. Poisa tirne dharana lai. Trinit mandasan. Tara. Nadiu. Naleu. Ko. Naitik. Adhar lai vane. Srikarsan. Ki e avadharana tapai ko. Hakma pani lagu huncha. Tiakha gorn hos. Answer. Many people find that paying money for organ is helpful, but they accept the ethical basis of no give, no take system. These generalizations apply to my case also. Let us consider a no give, no take policy for organs. Under this system, in order to receive an organ, you must have previously signed your organ donor card. Under no give, no take, Signing your organ donor card can be thought of as joining a club. The club of people who have agreed to share their organs. Or one can think of signing the organ donor card as the price that you pay for organ insurance. An advantage of the no give, no take policy is that it satisfies most people's moral intuitions. Many people find the idea of paying for organs distasteful, but nevertheless are comfortable with the morality of reciprocity those who are willing to give should be the first to receive. A variant of no give no take can be implemented quite easily within the current system by giving those who have previously signed their organ donor cards. Extra points that would advance them on the queue. In fact, a similar program is already in place. People who have previously been leave organ donors are given extra points if they are if their one remaining kidney fails them. No give no take simply extends the idea from actual donors to potential donor. Something like no give, no take is currently being implemented privately. LiveSharers.com is an organ club. Anyone can join. Members agree that if their organs should become available, they will go first to a fellow LiveSharers member. Although reciprocity proposals like no give, no take have moral advantages, it is important to receive that their primary purpose is to increase the incentive to donate and therefore to increase the total number of organs available.